Okay, so today we're going to be talking about DIY fail. So let's get right into it. Oh, wow. That looks like a chimney uh, that has been poorly flashed around, I think. It, it doesn't look like there's actual flashing, but just Tyvek tape around old crumbling brick that needs to be replaced with new brick on top. So, I mean, really, this needs to be taped taken down. It's, you need to start from scratch. You can't build new on top of an old crumbling structure. So that chimney has to be completely redone. That is not stopping anything from getting in. And that is just a hazard. Oh, wow. This is uh, this must be a new pot light that I've never seen before. Uh, great for drainage, clearly with all the holes. Um, you know, people are getting really creative with uh, strainers, I guess. Strainers of pot lights. That is one of the strangest combinations I have seen. Uh, don't do that. I, I feel like it may not be the most unsafe thing, but it looks terrible. Oh, wow. Oh, is that a snake? I don't even need, I don't know where to start on this one. There's a, that poor snake got just completely fried in this that looks like electrical coming in to a meter. So that's a lot of power. Fried the snake. Um, I, I, I guess you have to get that snake out of there and clean that up, reattach the meter, and hope nothing else gets in there. Oh, wow. That is... I mean, listen, I know not a lot of people see what's on top of a roof, but... If you're going to cap your roof with random shingles, at least cut them all the same size. You know, the fix there, we have to remove all that cap. Uh, the rest of the roof looks like it's in decent shape. I don't know if this is a joke. I hope it is. Uh, and then use the same color shingle for the cap. Uh, this is just, uh, that's, that's awful. That doesn't look good. It doesn't look functional. It doesn't look watertight. That needs to be removed and redone properly. I don't see anything wrong with this picture. I mean, you have your bathroom, you have your kitchen. It's kind of like an all-in-one. Obviously, I'm kidding. This uh, That is not sanitary. That's not probably safe. If you're cooking and going to the bathroom at the safe, same time, you could burn yourself. In the background, it looks like some loose wires or something. I don't know. Some people get really creative with their uh, their builds and their renovations. Kitchens and bathrooms, there's a reason we don't put them together. We keep them separate, sanitary and safety reasons. So let's just gut it and restart. Oh, wow. That is, that is very interesting. That is probably the most innovative and dangerous way to get hot water that I have ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I mean, get a hot water tank run plumbing from the hot water tank to your faucets and don't do it this way because that's that's a fire hazard waiting to happen. I mean, running a, a hot plate onto a coiled copper, yeah, coiled copper line. I mean, you could burn yourself. The, the open flame could catch fire on something. It's just, it, it's probably not safe and doesn't look good. It's not functional. There's a whole lot of wrong going on there. So again, Tear it out, start from scratch, and um, don't ever do that again. That's everything. So thanks for tuning in. I'm sure there'll be many more fails to come in. We'll see you next time.